what is the best drills for improving your speed and endurance? Well, we work on the philosophy that you need to build your endurance base first, and then that's the endurance, and then you need to build strength, and then you build speed. So the first thing that we do with people is we get them out riding and just getting some volume into their training nice and easy to build up some endurance. And then we build some strength on that by lowering the cadence to around about 70 to 60 RPM and having some of their rides or their indoor training sessions like the hill climbing power cadence steps that we have on DVD to improve their strength. And we combine that with the Matt Brindle functional strength training off the bike and that builds the strength and then on top of that we start developing speed and we do this by working on developing the intermediate muscle fibers and to do that we do indoor training sessions and sessions out on the road where we're riding an E3 and VO2 max. Now we've got some fantastic indoor training DVDs that cover off some of these exercises including the fruit bowl DVD. Now once we've done a few weeks of these high intensity efforts we'll find that the athlete that we're working with will develop very good speed on top of all the work that we've done prior to that. So they'll see some fantastic results by working through that methodology. Now I hope you've enjoyed these cycling tips. My name's David Heatley from Cycling Inform.